I'm Macy Mueller, a PhD candidate in animal biology at the University of California, Davis, and I am an Angus Foundation scholarship recipient. I'm from Princeton, Nebraska, where I grew up on a first-generation registered Angus operation. And I point out the first-generation piece because that has been really instrumental in my development. Our family's Angus herd started with just six registered cows that my parents bought when I was about two years old. And I'm the oldest of four siblings, and so as our family grew, so did our Angus cattle operation. My family was primarily focused on production of Angus cattle. I always like to say that we kind of showed in our spare time, so um, we never um, by any means bought the fanciest cattle or anything. I really appreciate that my parents wanted it to be our project. My first junior national show was in 2008 in Des Moines, Iowa, and we thought we were just gonna be showing cattle and had no idea how many awesome career development and leadership events there were. And so I signed up for almost every contest possible. One of my specific roles, being one of the oldest children, was to take data, keep track of it, and submit it to the Angus Herd improvement records. And so that's where I really got to see the importance of submitting data and how that impacted our genetic predictions, or EPDs. And so that was my first intro into the world of livestock genetics. And so really, without my Angus experience, I wouldn't be where I am today, which is pursuing a PhD in livestock stock genetics at the University of California, Davis. I've always had a passion for science and, and more specifically biology and fortunately through my experience with my family's ranch I also got to see how important livestock science is and so through um, my undergrad I decided to combine those two and majored in animal science at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Now I am at the University of California Davis where I earned my master's in, in livestock genetics and now I'm working on my PhD. Currently, my research is related to applying advanced biotechnology, such as gene editing, to livestock production to make it more efficient, profitable, and sustainable, ultimately. Gene editing allows us to very precisely target a place in the genome and make changes that we want. So this could be disrupting a gene to stop the production uh, of a protein, or it can be inserting a new gene, or even just a gene from a different breed. So it can be almost like crossbreeding without the um, need for back crossing to get to those original genetics. And so that's a really powerful tool and I'm really excited to be working with that in my PhD here at the University of California Davis. When my parents first started raising cattle, somebody once told them that they didn't use their kids to raise cattle, they used their cattle to raise their kids. And I really do understand that statement and truly benefited from those experiences. Through working hard in organizations like the National Junior Angus Association, you can really see what you put into it is what you'll get out of it. You may not have to, in this case, have the best cattle or be the most outgoing person, but whatever you have a passion for, you can put that effort in and really see the results of that. And I am not the most athletic person, um, honestly not even the most talented academically, but I work very hard and put in a lot of effort into what I do. And fortunately, the Angus breed really recognizes that. Um, and so I've been very fortunate to be supported both through my undergraduate and now graduate career thanks to the Angus Foundation. The confidence and support that I feel feel when I receive a Angus Foundation scholarship that they really believe in me and my research and that I will be able to give back to the Angus breed someday has really been beneficial for me.